Hey, what's up? Welcome to the show. I'm gonna teach you guys how to get started. Are you ready to go? I'm gonna teach you how to get started. Hi, what's up? My name's Ty, and I like to talk to anyone about anything, and so can you. So, uh, one of the things that I get as a question is, Tyrone, how do I get started in SE? How can I start doing this myself? Uh, it's, it's not as hard as you might think. It's actually pretty easy. In fact, a lot of you guys have already been doing SE already. If you've been having conversations with people where you just ask a question like, oh, how'd you figure that out? Or how do I test that? Or, oh, what makes you think that that's a good idea. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, classic Brandon. If you have ever had questions like that targeted at somebody, you've already been doing something kind of close to SE already. In my opinion, SE is just a way to ask questions about deeply held beliefs that doesn't make you sound like a jerk. <laughs> and there's a lot of good ways that you're doing that right now that can count as SE. If you wanna to try to do it SC style, sort of similar to how I do on my YouTube channel, or how Anthony Magnabosco does his, or how Reed Nice Wonder does his, uh, you name the, per the YouTube personality and they got a style. Um, it should be enough of a sign then that there are a lot of different kinds of styles of SC that are catered to the person that's doing it. Which means you don't have to pick a style that's similar to mine or someone else that's, you know, does SE as a hobby on YouTube. You can find your own style and you can find your own way to do it. But how do you get started? I guess you came to this channel. Enough, enough rainbows and butterflies, Tyrone. Give them, give them the good stuff. Here's my top three rules for how you can get started in SE. First rule, first rule. Yo, you're probably already doing it already. So why not just inject a little bit more of it into your casual, casual conversations? For example, say someone likes, I don't know, uh, Game of Thrones. Is that popular right now? Is that how I get my hashtags up? <laughs> Game of Thrones, someone says they like Game of Thrones. And you ask them why you like Game of Thrones so much. They say, well, I just really like four minute long intro sequences. <laughs> <'Cause that's laughs> It's ridiculous. And you ask them, oh, okay, so if the intro sequence was longer or shorter, would that make you like it any more or less? And you say, no, it's gotta be four minutes. It's gotta be four minutes. No one's ever gonna have that conversation. But basically, you get a list of the things that they like about something, and then you see if you, if you took away aspects of that list, starting with the most important things, if they'd still like it just as much. If they like it just as much, those items in that list aren't important. <laughs> because they aren't resting what they love, they're not resting their love on those things. And you can actually help them figure out why they like the show so much. Maybe it's not that four minute long intro sequence. Maybe it's just because of the actors in the show or the fight scenes or a lot of other good reasons and helping them have that conversation can help them realize, oh, maybe this is the reason why I like the show and not these other reasons that were on my list. So number two. Number two, I didn't really think this list out, but I would say the second best way to start with SE is engage in conversations that you feel comfortable having that you also feel incredibly passionate about. So the weird thing about SE is you can, it's, it's all about trying to stay calm and generally neutral in a conversation about someone's deeply held belief where you're not making them feel defensive by the energy you're bringing to the situation. So if you can practice on something that you're particularly passionate about, ideally not like the religion stuff yet. <laughs> More like, I don't know, if you really think Metal Gear Solid is the best stealth game and there's somebody else out there that thinks it's like Tom Clancy's Splinter, Splinter Cell, go ahead and, and have that conversation, but practice being calm, practice being cool. Okay, so okay, so you think Charmander's the best starter Pokemon of all time? Charmander, hmm. As wrong as they are, it's up to you to figure out why they're wrong. <laughs> Open up their mind and let them realize the truth <laughs> that is water type starters. Oh, third tip, just do it. Just go outside and do it. Listen, you don't need a folding table, a chair, you don't need a YouTube account, you don't need a camera, you don't need a microphone, you don't need a table, you don't need chairs. You just need the attitude of willing to be talking to people outside. <laughs> and you'll be surprised how many people outside will be willing to talk to you once you show that you're willing to talk to them. That's literally it, just a good attitude. 
Try it out. Go outside and just talk to somebody. Even if it's not about a deeply held belief or something that you're passionate about or something that you feel like you can interject questions into, just going outside and striking up a conversation with somebody. As scary as that might sound, at first, when you're doing it is not bad at all. And um, I found that all you need is a really good attitude. A good positive attitude is something that people gravitate to. And if you are, for example, willing to put some investment into it, I don't know, what's a good way to get people to talk to you? Have a sign that says, hey, you wanna talk to me? Hey, it worked. I have a sign, my first sign that I had said, let's chat about anything you want or like five minute interviews or something like that. And I set it up in Lexington's Arboretum. And it was a fun, it was a fun purchase spree because I got to make my own sign. So I was going through Walmart getting like gold stickers and all that stuff. And it was fun. But when I first set up in the park, you know, it was a cold, it was a cold day in like March and windy too. And, I, and I'm setting up and I worry my biggest worry was that nobody would come and sit down in front of me and I'd just be embarrassing myself out in the open. But once I set up, I'm sitting there and I realize, you know what? I'm outside, I'm having a good time. This is the weekend, let's just have some fun. Let's just see what can happen. And I had like maybe six conversations that day just by people passing by who were curious willing to ask me some questions about like, okay, what's going on here? And I told them the whole idea of what I was trying to do and they were really happy to oblige and sit down with me. I think if you just put some positivity out there, you're gonna get it back in kind. So don't give up before you even start it. Go outside and have a conversation with somebody. Go and talk to someone about something you're passionate about and try to inject some messy into your regular conversations. If you do all three of those things, I guarantee you, you'll be started in no time. So that's my uh, uh, three tips. Check it out, do the best you can, and enjoy it. I am a person that just believes that he can talk to anyone about anything, and I believe you can too. So go on and try it out. See you guys, I'll see you next time.